Hi, this is Wendy from the Ultima HMO Success System. And you might wonder why I'm doing a video today looking like I do, sweaty, red-cheeked, <laughs> um, and not really very glamorous. That's because I've just come in from an eight mile run. Now, for me, this is quite an achievement. I don't know if you're a runner or if you like physical exercise, but one of the things I'm aiming for is to run the London Marathon next year. Now, I haven't actually got a place. I haven't even got a charity place, so, I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to get there. I'm determined. There's loads of things about running that are very similar to growing a business or investing in property. And these are, if you like, my five top analogies for if you're a runner or if you're not. But if you're running a business, why is running like running a business? Number one, the weather. Now, if you often get outside and do exercise or you're a runner like me, you'll know how much the weather can affect your running. If it's wet and cold, you, it stops you wanting to go outside. If it's lovely and warm and sunny, yes, it's a great day for getting out. And at the moment in property, there's lots of storms about. There's Brexit, there's the turbulence within the economy. Lending is getting harder. There's tougher rules and regulations. And for many people, they're really struggling to get started investing in property. But I would say, let's not see that those, those kind of storms and that turbulence as putting us off. That's exactly the time when we need to press on and press in, because that's when opportunities are here. So the weather should be something that actually builds our muscle. It builds our ability to be tough and to de be determined, come what may. The second thing is you need to have a training plan or a race plan. And that's true whether you're running in a race or you are running a business. You need to have goals and actions set out every week. So for me, one of my goals is to run four times a week. Three are shorter runs and one of them is a longer run. And I add another half a mile to my longer run every week. So I get better at um, running for a longer period of time, but also running a longer distance. And that's just what I've done today. And it's true in business that every week there needs to be a process, um, things that you're doing all the time, maybe making appointments to view properties, speaking with investors, uh, doing, doing uh, analysis on deals. There are certain things that you need to be doing as clockwork every week in your business. But every so often you need to push on a certain area as well, whether maybe that's systemizing your business or doing an extra two viewings or speaking to an extra three investors because those little extra bits can really have the compound effect in making your business grow faster and more profitable quicker. The third thing, number three, is to have somebody who has done it before. A mentor, a trainer. I, I have a PT and I also have somebody who is my mentor. So I, I, I take advice from people who are experts. I take advice from people who've been there and done it. Uh, people who run marathons, people who are much fitter than I am, people who know what they're doing. And it's true in business as it is in, in any other aspect of our lives. If we want to get better at something, look to other people who've done it and take their advice. Number four is nutrition. I know if I've not been eating very well or I've been eating, you know, poor quality foods or, uh, you know, I've been eating too much fat or sugar. I just don't feel great about myself and it doesn't give my body the nutrition it needs to be able to run well. And what are you feeding your head with? Because as well as our stomachs, we also need to feed our heads, don't we, our brains. So what food do you take on board every day to feed yourself, to help yourself be a really good person in your business? And who do you listen to? because the people that we surround ourselves with are also crucial to feeding that, that sense of self, that sense of self-belief and purpose. And just when things are getting tough, we need to draw on that nutritional wealth that we fed ourselves with. And that's what helps us to get through number one, which is to weather the storms and to, to get out there even when it's tough and cold and we don't want to. And number five is to enjoy it. Enjoy the journey, enjoy the run. Try and be grateful for everything that comes your way because when you enjoy what you're doing, life becomes so much better. And I really hope that you do enjoy your journey. And maybe you'll take up running as well as a result, which is no bad thing. 